Shogun! Uh, almighty Shogun! What brings you to the Eye Publishing House? Do you have instructions for us? No, not at all. Don't be so nervous. I'm just here to look around. Uh, apologies. I still don't quite understand. Are you here to look into the management? Or publishing regulations? Or fire safety measures? Uh, she just wants to browse your books. The Almighty Shokin wishes to read light novels? Yes. Any recommendations? Um, the Yai Publishing House's novels are mostly targeted at the general public. And the content is all kinds of strange. I'm not sure we have anything quite to the Almighty Shokin's taste. I'm just here to try something new. There's no fun in reading the same kind of thing over and over again. Relax. It's just words on a page, isn't it? What could I misunderstand, really? In principle, you're absolutely right. It's just... It'll be fine. If there's anything the Shogun doesn't understand, we'll explain it to her. Well? Okay, then. Uh, please proceed to the bookshelf over there. It has all the latest bestsellers. There are some winning entries from the This Novel is Amazing competition. Uh, I've just finished compiling them into a saleable form. Um... Don't take them too seriously. It's all just a bit of fun. Okay. Let's go then. Huh. How can this be? Did I underestimate the caliber of this material? I know every individual word in these books' titles. So why is it that they make no sense to me in these particular combinations? Take this one, for example. The good thing about being reincarnated as a hilly churl is that I only need to eat sunsetias to become stronger. It's so long! Is it true that hilly churls grow stronger from eating sunsetias? Well, surely it should be some sort of meat, at least. It's just a narrative device! Narrative device. So it's... made up? What's the point of that? Without being grounded in reality, how can the story be believable? Also, I'm fairly certain that Hilly Churls can't write stories. So, does this author claim to be documenting Hilly Churl life from an outside perspective, perhaps? Uh, I'm not starting to understand Kuroda's reservations right about now. Uh, how about we choose for you? We can pick out some novels that are easier to understand and give you a scoop. All right, then. I believe myself to be relatively well-read, but with stories like these, I don't even know where to start. I have high hopes, though. This seems like Miko's style, so I'm sure the stories are very entertaining. All right, leave it to us. We'll be back in a jiffy. This could be a pretty tough job. Let's see what we're up against.
stop letting A look around. Uh, Hyman thinks it might be best not to bring this one up with A. We might get the author in trouble. Well, if someone turned into Paimon and did a bunch of stuff this Paimon would never do, Paimon would feel really uncomfortable. on your faces tell me you found some good stories. Goodness. Are people in Liu really so complex these days? Even though the protagonist refuses to acknowledge his innate talents, he has a rare dedication to justice. Where is he now? Does he have plans to visit Inazuma? If so, I will instruct one of the commissioners to bring him to me on his arrival. I would very much like to spar with him. Uh, he's a fictional character. He doesn't exist. What about the antagonist, though? Don't you have any thoughts about their part in the story? The antagonists? You mean all the people who behaved foolishly? What can I say? They're bad people, and they all got what they deserved. End of story. Uh, A doesn't seem interested in the supporting characters at all. So what do you think of Yai Publishing House's light novels, eh? Do you like the stories we picked? What I take from these stories is not so much the content itself, but what they represent in terms of the effects of time upon Inazuma. Back when I decided to isolate myself in the plain of Euthymia, there was no Yai Publishing House, and certainly no stories of this kind. In accordance with my wishes, the Shogun did her best to create an eternal nation. A nation that, in theory, should remain entirely unchanged over time. But the fact is that both the food and the stories have changed with time. I disagree with your point of view. That's what I would say if we were still in the plane of Euthymia. But the truth is right here in front of my eyes. And I can't deny it. And that's exactly why we brought you out. To take a look around and get some fresh ideas. Sure, it's not the same as you remember. But one way or another, people are loving life in the present. That's got to be a good thing, right? Yes, you're right. I'm wary of any and all change. But I do not wish for my pursuit of eternity to stop human lives from changing for the better. Thank you for inviting me out. This trip has been quite eye-opening for me. This may be an everyday occurrence for you, but for me, this trip has been quite an occasion. I've seen a lot, and it's made me think a lot. I really can't praise it highly enough. I hope I will remember it for a long time to come. Oh, great idea! Ace had a wonderful time, and a photo is the best way to remember it! Take a photo? <sighs> Once again, I'm faced with a combination of words that makes absolutely no sense to me. It's okay! Come with us! We'll find a scenic spot and show you what we mean! Yes. 
are we supposed to be doing? We're taking a photo of you. Just leave the hard work to us. All you need to do is stand over there and strike a pose. Basically, a photo makes a visual record of you at this very moment in time. So it makes a great souvenir. Okay. So what exactly is striking a pose? Ah, I see. So in other words, I need to do some sort of visually agreeable action in front of you, right? Ah, the more I think about it, the more embarrassing it seems. How should I pose? Help me out here. It should look good, but not too over the top. This isn't coming naturally to me at all. Okay, I'll try that. All right. Well, I'll leave the decision to you. Casual. Uh, how about this? This feels quite natural. All right. Well, I'll leave the decision to you. This doesn't feel very... me. Is this okay? All right. Well, I'll leave the decision to you. Okay. I'll try that. Okay, let's get started. Let's pick a good angle to record this moment from. Just what will we come across this time? Is it some kind of magic? 
It seems to be another copy of me. But she doesn't seem to be able to move or talk. I thought it would turn out poorly because I felt rather rigid. But it actually looks more natural than I imagined. The pose is exactly the same. And so is the scenery in the background. I can't imagine how it's achieved. That's what makes it so special! Hang on. I'm still struggling to understand this. I need you to explain it again. So, the one in this photo... Are you sure it isn't me? If it's not me, then why does she look exactly like me? And if she is me, then... Who am I? Okay, that's way above Paimon's head. Over to you, Traveler. Hey, that's right. Do you think the Shogun counts as you? Of course I do. It was never my intention to place control of Inazuma into anybody else's hands. So then, who does that make you, here and now? Well, I'm still me. There is no doubt about that. My existence? Hmm. Ah, I think I understand. I am me. There is only one of me. But I can exist in many different forms. It's not important what form I exist in. The Shogun, for example, is one of my forms of existence. The question of whether or not she is me is not determined by any of her components. In that case, this picture is one of your forms of existence too. Hmm. So even I, who seeks eternity, am constantly changing my form of existence. Then, how can I ask Inazuma and everyone who lives here to remain unchanging? Everything I have encountered on this journey with you has been from beyond my existing sphere of knowledge. <sighs> You've seen a lot of my ignorant side today. Maybe you can't tell, but all this has challenged my understanding of things. Based on what I have seen today, I am forced to accept that Inazuma is a completely different place from the one I remember. But it would be incorrect to conclude from this that the Inazuma of today is no longer Inazuma. Both the Vision Hunt Decree and the Statue of the Omnipresent God were conceived as a means of bringing about eternity. But if I were really getting closer to eternity, none of this ever would have happened. Hmm. Perhaps... <laughs> Perhaps I've been holding on to everything too tightly. Sounds to Paimon like Ace figured things out! And that means that we've done a really great job as her guide! Master Kamaji! Master Kamaji! Hmm, why is it getting so noisy down there? Oh, that sounded like Ipe! What could be the matter? Ipe? Is that someone from the Tenryo Commission? <laughs>